We got thickened edges all the way down to the ground. Okay, then you got rebar stubbed into the foundation. You know, envision the concrete coming down here. You don't want to get this too thin. You want to make sure you got four, four inches from here to here. So the concrete will be four inches thick there, and the four inches thick up here, and the four inches thick that way. only figures about one yard so if you wanted to hand mix that that's about 63 bags yeah that's good all right let's see we put that that side of an inch and a half and we just kind of square that up to that ma'am now get us a stake right here so let's just go six inches ripped down to nothing. That's like quite a bit. Right at the very tip. That'd be our right, tip. four foot. You got about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters. That's way too much. Yep. So we'll lift it back up. Yeah, we want to bring that up. Doesn't look bad in there. Okay, so there's level. One inch. One inch. Okay, so that's our height. One and a half. We put a nail or a screw right there. Mm -hmm. Question is, where the pants in the house? You gotta try to try to keep it clean. It gets deleted. <laughs> Yeah, these rocks right here. <laughs> I'm gonna cut a two by 12 at that dimension, 46 and a half. Go back to that height. Five degree bevel on there that way you can get real close to the to the face of the concrete from when you're magging this out. And we can stack it all up in here, but we want a four inch slab around the way. In case you're wondering. No. To our bar up to the 45 mm -hmm. level. I'm gonna just tag one screw in it for now so it can see. Chad needs a break. Chad. All right, so let me show you what Chad did the other day when he uh, did his little broom job. We had to use the push broom, which it's okay. This push broom does a nice job, but check that out. It's like solid concrete. He concreted all the bristles. And Chad, how did you miss it? I don't know. Good job, Chad. Good work. You got your thickness right. We got four inches of thickness on our broom here. Coming out of, <laughs> coming out of your check there, Chad. Nah, it's not quite that bad, but that's pretty amazing. Let's just get three down there anyways. You'll do one there. Just eyeball the center of this. Boom, put one there. And then, you know, kind of get one wherever you can over here. in all the way when it starts to bounce. Oh, yeah. We 
hand mixing it. You need a screw in that. You can't go that distance without putting a saw cut in it, man. That's, uh, yeah, I mean, they could maybe have gotten away with one, but even that's almost too big. Yeah, I don't know if you could see me right there to the right or not, but it's one driveway up, keep going, keep going straight, and then come down the next driveway to the right. You can just uh, head straight down it. Oh, you mean Cappy's house? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I see it down there. See how close, see how close we can get with that. Lock it. Wind it up. Got a little bit more. I think we're gonna make it. Yeah, kind of back back up to where you flipped around there down that little road all right we got one percent you guys this is gonna pop off in this sunshine so you gotta get make this happen quick chad did you vibrate this yeah i'll take care of it i'm probably gonna do it today Pardon? I'm probably gonna take them off today okay yeah it'll be fine no. yeah you're welcome yeah yeah thank you it'll get better Let that bake for about 10 or 15 minutes. Open. Well, yeah, I'm opening it up. We want the sucker. We want the sucker to go off. Let the moisture out. Yeah. Probably changing a little bit. Please. It doesn't take too long here. So this thing chops in two inches deep. It's almost guaranteed to cause a crack because you're separating the aggregate for two inches deep, which is half of the thickness. Eyeballing it. Yeah, looks good. It's there, right there, isn't it? First we cut, then we measure to see how we did. And we're half inch off. We're leaving it. Chad, you're doing a great job. Thank you. Okay, it hasn't been sitting here that long, but we got 1% or well, 1.5% accelerator. I think I'm going to try to... We're going to start with this side here, pulling it off right now. It's, it's here early. It's a hair early. So you can kind of see how it is kind of sloughing a little bit. So that's why we're starting in the back here. I'm just going to let it sit like that for a few minutes. Don't even touch it. Just let it breathe. Let the air get to that. Is he trying to, is he trying to cross your lines, Chip? He's trying to find your line. Well, you're a pretty patient guy. We accept each other for who we are. We just understand that Eddie's the way that he is for a reason. It's a little early. 
yeah, just let it breathe. We should probably just give it another five, pick up some other stuff. Let's just let it sit before we even touch that. Don't even touch it. Just let it sit like that for a few minutes. It's not sloughing, but it might if we start rubbing on it. Staying where it should. Chad, you could probably almost pull all the stakes except for, you know, maybe one on each end. Just get the stakes out of there. Yeah, that was a little early on this guy here. So I'm going to screw this back in here. Get out of the way. Ah, here we go. <laughs> what did he say? Hey, how's it going, man? Just throw it for this far. Uh, I need a screw. We're having those screws in here. Okay. How's it going? Good. Yeah. Good yeah. Yeah, look who's back, huh? <laughs> Went ahead and built that corner back up. Chad, I need the edger. Yeah, but I think we leave it alone. We almost had an eddy print in that. Standard though, it's, yeah. this is a good time. there might be slightly trapped. I got it. That thing's handy. Yeah. They do a nice job.
Okay. Do something with that. <laughs> We're almost out of here. what you can get set to rain again all week next week so keep knocking out these little guys so the weather gets a little better <laughs> 